In this video, we will demonstrate the device communication driver setup in iView Developer. This video will cover the individual steps for selecting and setting up a device driver. When beginning a new program in iView Developer, the HMI is selected. The next step in the project creation is selecting the device driver. The driver selection may be done here when using one driver. When the project is created, the device driver is displayed as Link 1 in this example. Most often, the device drivers are created from the project manager. We delete Link 1 and begin a new device driver setup. Right-click on Links. In addition to the Add Driver selection, the extensive list of device drivers are shown. From the Link selection, click Add Link. The Add Link window will open. We will name this link Modbus. There are two link types associated with an HMI to device setup. Direct Link Com for serial and Direct Link Ethernet for the Ethernet port. We are using a serial RS-485 connection in this setup. The device server is the manufacturer of the connected device or the industry protocol. Modicon is where the Modbus drivers are located. To the right are the specific drivers associated with the manufacturer. This example uses Modbus 984 device slave driver as the HMI is acting as a client device or master. The link port selection is where the serial port is chosen. COM4 is one of the RS-485 ports and will be used here. When a multi-node network is being used, the sublink selection can be checked. This will build a new tab. From the Parameter tab, the serial data parameters are selected. In this case, 19, 2, 8, 9, and 1. The PLC address is shown. This is the node or station address of the connected device. This is used when only one device is connected. The panel address may be left at 1 as it is not used when the HMI is set up as a client device. Leave the other selections at default. Check the Sublinks tab to configure the device network. The number of nodes to be used are selected. Name the first node. Give it a node address. The startup state of the node is selected. The second node is set up in the same manner. The iView2 can communicate with multiple manufacturers at once. The M series has five serial ports and can have one protocol per COM port. The Ethernet can support up to eight Ethernet protocols at once. The H series also has five serial ports and an Ethernet port supporting up to 16 protocols at once. Add a numeric display to the screen. When adding an address to the object, the Modbus link is selected. The sublink pull-down will appear. Select VFD1. Input 40001 for the address. Use the same steps for adding a lamp monitoring PLC bit 10001. This concludes the device driver setup of the IMO iView HMIs. For application notes and videos on the IMO iView HMIs, visit our knowledge base.